Hello guys, hello guys, hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. When we last left off... God might get nervous. A man approaches with a oh, sorry about that. I have a bad habit of doing that. Yes, when we last left off, we did a, uh, some work for a Daedric Prince. We did it for Molag Baal, quite a nasty character. But never mind. We did it anyway. <laughs> and um, we're going to catch the coach now. We didn't want to get the horse. Actually, we were thinking about a horse, but it was going to be a thousand gold. And I think we could probably get one for less. There we go. Now let's get out. Looks like we have to talk to the guy first before we get in. Hello, friend. City of Markarth, sure is a beauty. Where do you want to go? Um, can you take me to a Winterhold? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Brilliant. Oh, another bird, a rock wobbler. Lots of rock wobblers around here. Do they always sing these guys? It's now shunned and feared, cause, maybe because they're mental. Now we have to remember that Winterhall does not have a carriage. We have to remember that, because sometimes we have a bad habit of not remembering things. <laughs> now I'm sure, pretty certain that we will remember. Hello. I'd sell just about anything if it's worth my time. I do what's necessary. It wasn't by choice, I can tell you that. Options right. were in short supply. Branmir and I grew up here. And nearly any money I make, he drinks away. Ooh. Without the coin to pack up and leave, I decided to take to trading. Hmm. Did you get much business here? Funny. I'm sure you've noticed that Winterhold isn't exactly overflowing with people. No, it's not. So I'll sell whatever I can. If it's worth putting a price on, you can bet I'll do it. I've been burned a few times, made a few bad deals, but mostly I come out on top. All right, so we'll talk to you later. Actually, I don't want to really chat to her because we've got something to do today. We have to speak with a man. Where is he? He's not here. Look at our journal. Whereabouts is he? Dead ahead. Are you certain? Not there. Just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. All right. It's not you. The mages don't let us go in the college. They said oh, it's not done. safe in there. No, it's not safe. Be careful, little girl. These the wizards are crazy people. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. Aha! To the cellar. I wonder what he's doing down here. Is that you, Carlyer? It is. Okay, and how was our friend Caselmo? He was an idiot. Was there something else? This should help translate Gallus' journal. I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. Good, f good. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. Well, it's quite the tale, my friend. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Okay. Nice to see you, Carly. I like your your get-up. Beautiful looking weapons. Hmm. This is intriguing. Yes. Really disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Hmm. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enther? Anything about the Nightingales? Hmm. Uh, yes, here it is. 
The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us. So it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What, yeah, what's what is Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Antha. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Antha. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Hmm? Um. So, let's have a chat. All I want is the truth to be revealed to the Guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. It's no favor, eh? All right, thank if you. If you ever manage to gain entry to the college, and you find trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becoming a burden, come visit me. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. Offense. Great. All right, thanks. Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the. Oh, we've talked about this. We must hasten to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. Yes, I will. So, what's the Twilight Sepulchre? So I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. Nocturnal? The Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. What? Uh, why does it require Everything protection? Everything represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. Oh, thieves in temples, and it just... What? What's that? the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. Right. Um, I'd understand better uh, if there was less mystery. I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the sepulchre. I know the guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. Wow, so much trust. Okay. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation. See if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. Are you... Time, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. Um, hang on, you're going to have the Ragged Flagon? That is mental. If the Guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. What is it? Nightingale Blade? Okay. Assuming you're here for more than a social call. Down to business, eh? Well, that's everything, I think, friend. Right. We're going to meet Carlia. Wow. Okay. Look! Three wolves. Oh, no, they're skeevers. Never mind. I'm not even sure what just happened there. Me call out the ragged flagon. Goodness. They said it's not safe in there. Um, a little girl, leave me alone, please. I don't want to be. S uh, you left the rubbing on the table. Hello, you left the rubbing on the table. I risked life and limb for this thing, and you just dumped it on the table. I'll take this as well. Ha 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 ha! Right. What have we been given? Weapons. Elven arrow. I like this bow of cowardice. It really works a treat. Right. And it absorbs. Woo! Yes. Yes. Right. That's. This is our new blade, ladies and gentlemen. That is number one. Okay. Yes! Look at that thing! Look at that thing! Ladies and gentlemen, brilliant. So when we come back, guys, we are going to go back to Riften. I'm going to fast travel there. Sorry about that.
<laughs> I am what's wrong with gaming. Yes, yeah, I can see it. Although I'm not a 12 year old. Who's. Oh, look at all this food. Hmm. Console hall. That's what they call it. Hmm. Never mind. Right. That's what we'll do. So until then, guys, stay safe, take care of yourself, and goodbye.